Hello everyone, welcome back to Thriller Recap. Today I will show you an action, crime film from 2013, titled The Suspect. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie started with a report about the increasing number of North Koreans defecting to South Korea. We then a man named Dong Chiu comes into his modest house, looking at a map that is posted on a wall, seeming to be looking into something. He looks distressed and gets a flashback of a child's voice begging not to be killed, and then a man shooting someone. The next morning, we see a reporter woman, Jian He. She wants to investigate Dong Chiu, as she is in a team that is making a documentary about the defectors. She tries to convince Dong Chiu, saying that people will donate to him once they debut the documentary, but he just ignores her. That night, Dong Chiu is working as a driver, being treated poorly by his customer as Jian He stalks Dong Chiu and records him. Then, Dong Chiu is invited to a Korean bar by someone who wants to meet him there. It turns out that he is the president of the Heiji group, Gun Ho Dong Chiu was working for him, but he applied for resignation. However, Gun Ho hasn't accepted his resignation and wants Dong Chiu to work for him again, but he refuses. After their conversation, Dong Chiu drives Gun Ho back home after they are done. On the way, they reminisce about the buckwheat in the north. It turns out that Gun Ho is also from the same town as Dong Chiu in the north. Heiji Group's executive director, Song, gives Dong Chiu his severance pay, as well as a parting gift from the president. It's a piece of paper with the information of the man Dong Chiu has been looking for. As Dong Chiu gets out of the president's house, he feels that something is wrong. We see a man spraying a gas that makes Gun Ho unconscious, then injecting his foot with poison to kill him. Dong Chiu arrives right afterwards and fights with the mysterious man, eventually killing him while Gun Ho is still dying. Dong Chiu approaches the president, who gives him his glasses and tells him to bury them. We see a group of people surveilling the assassination from a remote location. The leader is Agent Suk Ho from the NIS, a South Korean intelligence agency. A group of people come in, claiming to be the police and asking Dong Chiu to give the glasses to them. Dong Chiu refuses, sensing that they are part of the group who killed Gun Ho, and a gunfight happens. Dong Chiu jumps off the window to escape. We then see the housekeepers being shot to death, while eventually President Gun Ho is also shot again by Suk Ho. He calls his office to talk with the Defense Security Command. At a military team training boot camp led by a general named Min Se Hoon, or most people call him Chief Min, another high ranking officer approaches him and tells him about a new mission. At first, Chief Min looks uninterested, but not after hearing that the target is Dong Chiu. Next scene, we see Dong Chiu inspecting the president's glasses. The NIS is investigating the crime scene as if they know nothing of it. There, we see Agent Suk Ho talking to Director Song who is confused about the situation. Song then gets a call from Dong Chiu, telling him that it's an assassination. Song keeps asking him where he is, and Agent Suk Ho tries to tap into his location but Dong Chiu already realizes this and immediately hangs up. We see suspicious men lurking around Dong Chiu's house. Dong Chiu watches them from afar as he is already on his way to leave. It turns out that they are tasked to place a gun inside Dong Chiu's house. That way, the police will suspect Dong Chiu as the culprit of killing the president director Heiju. Chief Min has now arrived at the NIS headquarters. He has doubts about the true intent of this mission, but Suk Ho wants him just to do the job quietly as Chief Min is the best spy sniffer. He is given a squad by Suk Ho, assisted by Captain Joe. We find out that Dong Chiu was an elite spy for the North involved in an operation against the South. Se Hoon's team also brings in Jian He and her assistant, asking her why she is interested in Dong Chiu. 
She knows that he is a spy but is pretending to be clueless. Dong Chiu calls NIS from a payphone, telling Chief Min that he's not the killer and about the glasses, before saying he'll die quietly and where to find his body. Jiang he begs them to stop him, saying that he's on a suicide mission to kill Li Guangzhou, who killed his wife and child. Dong Chiu has arrived at Guangzhou's house. He killed Dong Chiu's family before running and changing his name and working for NIS. Dong Chiu asks him about his wife's last words, Wang Zhou writes it down on his hand. When Dong Chiu wants to read it, suddenly a glimpse of light hits them, a sniper is already aiming at Dong Chiu. Wang Zhou jumps off to avoid the bullet and runs away, but his phone is left behind. Dong Chiu takes the phone and tries to catch up with Wang Zhou, who ran into a mall with his wife. We see many men trying to look for Dong Chiu, but he manages to escape. Dong Chiu tries to find Wang Zhou inside the shopping mall. Chief Min sees him on the CCTV and tracks him. Suddenly, Wang Zhou's phone is ringing and Dong Chiu picks it up. The man on the phone asks where Guangzhou is, Dong Chiu says nothing when suddenly the guy is in front of him, it turns out that he was the sniper from the apartment before. Dong Chiu and that guy fought on the stair, Dong Chiu succeeded in killing that guy using his own poison. Chief Min's team tells him that the sniper seems to be a part of NIS. And Chief Min smells something is wrong here. It seems like Dong Chiu is not running from them but trying to chase someone else. He asks Suk Ho about the details of the problem. However, Suk Ho avoids answering him. Chief Min feels that Suk Ho is very suspicious. He is now taking himself into the case and investigating alone. Chief Min check on Dong Chiu's background. We learn that Dong Chiu's wife was accused and executed as a defector against the Korean government in China. Dong Chiu is also acknowledged as a traitor, so the government punishes him. However, Dong Chiu escapes and rushes to his family. Yet he is too late. The house had already burnt down to the ground, and his family are already dead. This incident is what Jiang He was investigating. At the other place, Jiang He is busy finding Dong Chiu's files and trying to reveal the corrupted government. Dong Chiu calls her and wants to meet up with her. However, the police have already tracked her movement. A few agents stalk her into the meeting location. Dong Chiu and Jian He realize that she has been followed. They both try to decoy the police and escape. Chief Min is also in the location. He tries his best to capture them both. However, Dong Chiu and Jian He escape. They both go to Jiang He's house and try to find out about the glasses that President Park left. It turns out that there is a chemical formula imprinted on the glasses. The formula is the result of the Heiji Group's research. Chief Min is called by the NIS chief and is threatened if he jeopardizes the mission. Chief Min meets with an informant given to him by his team, who tells him all about the real assassination of President Park. The next morning, the NIS acquired Dong Chiu's whereabouts. We see Gwang Zhou and another agent entering Jiang He's house and taking the formula before almost shooting her. <laughs> 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 
Suddenly, Dong Chiu jumps into Guangzhou. They both fight a very hard battle. Dong Chiu beats him up and Guangzhou is impaled by an iron bar on the wall, causing him to die slowly. When Dong Chiu wants to kill him, Guangzhou tells him why he is working with NIS now. It turns out that Dong Chiu's child is still alive. He was sold to China by Suk Ho. Guangzhou also reveals that Suk Ho initiated the killing of President Heiju and Dong Chiu's wife. For all this time, Guangzhou was forced to shut up Suk Ho as his family would be in danger if he didn't do what Suk Ho said. Guangzhou is dead now. The NIS agents approach and surround Dong Chiu. He has no choice but to leave Jian He behind to save himself. Dong Chiu runs away while Chief Min takes Jian He to a safe place. It turns out that she was recording the formula on the glasses before NIS took it. Dong Chiu manages to fetch a car to escape the place. Chief Min's team has already hacked into Suk Ho's computer. He calls Chief Min, explaining that Suk Ho lately has contacted a weapons dealer in the Middle East. It looks like that is why Suk Ho wants to get the formula. He wants to sell it to them. Suk Ho, holding the formula in his hand, is negotiating with the buyer. The negotiation does not go well. When they check on it, it turns out that the formula is only a formula for a high-quality plant seed. Kim Suk Ho feels irritated and gets angry. He wants to reveal to the media about Dong Chiu as the culprit of President Heiju's death. Dong Chiu comes into the crowd and shoots his gun in the sky. He warns the others to get out of the place while aiming his gun at Suk Ho. Dong Chiu forces him to speak up about his son's whereabouts. However, the NIS has already come in to save Suk Ho. Dong Chiu has no choice but to deal with them first. While Suk Ho tries to run away with his wounded leg, Chief Min shows up, and already knowing that Chief Min knows the truth, Suk Ho takes his gun and points it at Chief Min. At the outside of the building, Jiang He has acquired a lot of evidence of Suk Ho's corrupted act. She spreads it out throughout the media, Suk Ho sees this and points his gun at Chief Min's head. It turns out that there is no bullet in his gun, so Chief Min hits him hard and takes the gun away. <laughs> Suk Ho takes out a bullet which was the one he used to kill President Gun Ho. He isn't afraid of Chief Min because the only evidence will be gone forever if he uses the bullet. Suddenly, Dong Chiu appears and chokes Suk Ho, asking his son's whereabouts. When Suk Ho is almost out of breath, he pushes a button which makes the window blinds open. The snipers aim at Dong Chiu now, Dong Chiu has no choice but to back off from him. Chief Min gives his gun and the bullet to Dong Chiu, he shoots Suk Ho dead. Chief Min puts handcuffs on Dong Chiu and gets out of the building. At the end of the movie, Chief Min gives him a note. It is the location of Dong Chiu's son. He then stops by a mini market to buy a cigarette, signaling him to run away. When he is back, Dong Chiu has gone. Chief Min remembers that Dong Chiu didn't kill him in Hong Kong because Dong Chiu saw a picture of his family, so Chief Min wants to repay the debt. What do you think about this movie? Feel free to leave your opinion in the comment section. 
And that's boy how the movie end. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.